You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. We want to consider something today, and that is who is Jason Morgan's true and absolute soulmate on GH? So there are some persistent rumors that Steve Burton might come back to General Hospital when his contract in Days of Our Lives, when his contract with Days of Our Lives expires in October of 2023. Some people are talking about that he's already in talks with GH and he could be back for November sweeps. Nothing has been confirmed by ABC, nor has anything been confirmed about his contract status or whether or not he'll renew at Days of Our Lives. However, remember the last time they brought him back, they did this patient six thing and they surprised everybody and then he dropped in through the skylight at the Metricourt. So if they bring him back, I'm sure it's going to be something splashy. He's supposedly dead right now, but that was a very soapy soap death. So I don't think it counts. All right. Jason's had four wives on GH, but he also had several other romances and lovers, but which one was his absolute true soulmate? Or do you think maybe Jason has yet to meet his twin flame? Maybe he hasn't met his soulmate yet. And based on these rumors that Steve Burton might come back as Stone Cold, this is definitely a question worth considering because they will obviously put him back into a romance. All right, before we dig into which lady is his soulmate, if you haven't already, we'd love it if you'd click subscribe so you don't miss any of our GH updates. Going way back in time, let's start by talking about Karen Wexler. They dated when Jason was younger and he had just come out of boarding school, but she was leading this kind of secret double life where she was stripping at Sonny Corinthos's bar. She was partying. It just, things fizzled out fast because it wasn't the kind of thing that he really wanted to be in. So she was definitely not his soulmate, but that was an interesting romance and definitely one from back in the day to think about. All right, next came Keisha Ward and things were going really well with Keisha and Jason, but then he got in the car wreck with his drunk brother, AJ Quartermain, who ran them into a tree, I think. And Jason had this traumatic brain injury and he had amnesia. He couldn't remember his family. This was the whole thing where he started being a mob enforcer because he just, everything was cut off to him emotionally in his memories. And he forgot all about his past with Keisha and then he walked away from her. So I don't think she's his soulmate either. Then he had Robin Scorpio as a girlfriend and they had been high school chums as well. They fell in love, but she did not like his new mob enforcer role. And then he cheated on her with Carly, but in the end, Robin and Jason remained these great friends. So yes, they're great friends. Soulmate, no. Then we have Carly. Carly could have been Jason's next big love, but she got upset when she saw him with Liz and kind of misinterpreted something, and then she ran and hopped in bed with Sonny, and so Jason walked away from her. But after that, you know, they had decades of friendship, and many fans still see them as soulmates, but they definitely had a rocky road, and we're going to circle back around in a few minutes and touch back on what happened with Carly and Sonny more recently. I mean, Carly and Jason. So Jason married Brenda Barrett next, but that was way back in the day and it was only to avoid testifying against each other. And as soon as the threat of the lawsuit, the criminal case was over, they got annulled. It was a marriage of convenience and it was fast and then it was over, not a soulmate situation. All right, the next three I'm gonna talk about potential soulmates, I think. So after that, Jason was smitten with Sonny's sister, Courtney Matthews, the beautiful blonde. Remember her? Uh, They got pregnant while they were engaged, but then she miscarried the child. They went ahead and got married in France, but then there was all this Carly and Sonny drama because he was involved with the mob stuff, and that interfered with them as newlyweds, and they wound up splitting again over mob life. That mob life has cost him a lot of things in his life. Then we had Sam and Jason's love story beginning. They bonded after she and Sonny split, and then she found out she was pregnant. 
she and Jason moved in together and he was claiming to be her unborn baby's daddy. And then baby Lila was stillborn. And then they got closer while she was grieving. But again, the mob life was putting her in danger. And then she got shot and Jason's like, I can't do this. And he walked away at the time. Of course, he circled back around later. While arguing with Sam because she had slept with Rick Lansing, Jason turned around and slept with Liz Weber. She got pregnant, but then she and Jason decided to let Lucky think that he was the dad because it was safer. She and Jason remained this temptation over the years. They used to circle around each other. This went on for decades. And some definitely consider that Liz might be Jason's soulmate. But over the decades, we saw Sam and Jason off and on. And then there were these occasional flirtations with Elizabeth. But Carly always relied on Jason. She would rope him into her schemes. She took him for granted. And Sam was kind of tolerant of that. Elizabeth was not. But Carly was definitely saw herself kind of taking precedent over whoever Jason was involved with. And that's really problematic for a guy who's trying to have an actual relationship, right? So not long before Steve Burton exited General Hospital in late November 2021, his romantic life on the show, Jason's romantic life, took two big twists. One involved Carly and one involved another woman. So after Sonny died, I'm doing that in quotes, died when he was Mike up in Nixon Falls, Carly and Jason's life kind of overlapped and intertwined because they were trying to run the Corinthos cartel together. And they wound up getting married because of that. And what was meant to be a marriage of convenience again turned into a love match. And both admitted that they had kind of loved each other for a long time. And they were giving themselves permission to let it all out and to really fall for each other. And they did. They got married. And it was a real marriage. It was real love. They were about to make love and consummate that union. And then Sonny came back from the dead and walked into the bedroom. That whole thing was just abruptly dropped. But is Carly Jason's soulmate? What do you think? So in the the second big twist that came right as he was leaving the show was his last love interest before he left, and that was Britt Westbourne. They initially had had this one night stand that turned into something. They were on the run together. They were sparking. That was like summer of 2021. But then Jason told her, I have to marry Carly. And this was before he and Carly decided they were all up in their feels about each other. So Britt was pissed off. She was pissed off at him and Carly, but she was just like, whatever. And Jason and Carly got married fall 2021. And then after Sonny abruptly returned, Jason and Britt kind of picked back up with sort of where they left off. And remember, they had headed to Greece together, and then he died, supposedly, right in front of her eyes with this tunnel cave-in thing and all these rocks. But again, he's only soap dead. He's not dead dead, and he could return. And I do hope that Britt wasn't Jason's soulmate because she died from a hook killer attack before the Huntington's disease could kill her. A lot of fans are saying, oh, they should bring Britt back. Britt was already dying, and then she got kind of a merciful, quick death from that hook because Huntington's would have eaten away at her and crippled her over a period of years. So Britt's dead. She's not coming back. They might bring Kelly Tybald back in a different role. You never know. I definitely like her. But so what do you guys think? After we unfolded all the big romances in his life, who do you think is Jason's soulmate? For me, it's really down to three people. So Courtney and Britt were definitely good with him, but both died. So there are three women alive and well in Port Charles that fan opinion is very divided on. And when and if Steve Burton comes back as Jason Morgan, then it's definitely worth considering which of these three are his soulmate. We're going to list those off for you one last time. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our general hospital spoilers. If you enjoyed this soulmate discussion, we'd love it if you clicked us a thumbs up. So the three that it kind of, to me, comes down to, and for a lot of fans, it comes down to this, is potential soulmates. Is it Carly Corinthos? Is it Sam McCall or is it Elizabeth Weber? Share in the comments which one you think is Jason's soulmate. Or if you think it's somebody else, let us that know. Let us know that too. Because where we're at is Carly could be the real soulmate that Jason's meant to be with. I mean, let's 
let's be frank about that. You know, this thing with her and Sonny splitting, I don't think she's going to get back with him. And if Jason comes back in, you know, she's with his twin, Drew, so that's a problem, but you never know. As for Sam, she had also split from Jason, and she split from Drew, and she seems deliriously happy with Dante, but many fans think that Dante is destined to get back with Lulu, and we just had this little hint that Lulu might be coming back from the dead. And then, of course, there's Elizabeth, and the Jason and Liz pairing has plenty of fans, and since Franco's death, her love life has been kind of lackluster. So are they soulmates? Let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate our viewers. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.